what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here it's gonna be talking about screen five as this is the week that we should be ex not necessarily getting overly excited about it but a small smidgen of an exciting expectations for us to have something described at least about screen five coming out of cinemacon this upcoming thursday this is the week of cinemacon paramount will be having its slate of films coming up presented for a time slot that i think runs a little over two hours maybe three uh and we're all of course us screen fans anyway we're anticipating that we'll get our first official look at screen five it won't be released to the public but it'll be released and shown to those in attendance at the CinemaCon Paramount panel. Now, I just want to kind of use IT Chapter 2 and Halloween 2018 as reference on what we could potentially have coming our way this upcoming Thursday. So this upcoming Thursday, what could end up happening is that they actually do talk about Screen 5. Maybe there's even an official synopsis brought out or maybe even an official poster. But the other thing that could happen, of course, we know is they could show footage they could show footage whether that be a one long sequence of things uh from the film or just a short teaser and this would be very similar to what it chapter 2 and halloween 2018 did back in 2018 at cinemacon they had shown the trailer and there were little descriptions that were coming out on social media after the trailer came out of course it wasn't released to the public till a couple weeks later same thing happened for it chapter two with that whole beverly scene with the old lady from it chapter two descriptions came out because it was shown at cinemacon and everyone was just waiting to see what this actually would look like when the footage got released online so it's not that it's not that uh unreasonable to expect that would be the same thing that happens with screen five i believe that there is of course a 50 50 chance of them showing something and then not showing something if they do show something it's not going to be released to the public what will happen though is that you'll have those in attendance who are allowed to give out very descriptive descriptions that aren't maybe depending on what they saw and what they want to and not have disclosed they can still give descriptions and that'll just build up the hype for this footage that they all saw that we'll now be anticipating of seeing we could get again like i said an official plot synopsis that goes into more detail as to what screen 5 will be about not just a young woman returns to her hometown to investigate a series of vicious crimes which doesn't point the finger on who said young woman is whether that be sam carpenter uh tara carpenter sydney prescott or even another woman that we don't even know about yet so we could get that but if it's the footage, the footage, whatever it may be, whether that be a short teaser, a one minute long teaser, or maybe a minute and a half teaser, or just a, a scene that is from the film, we, we should expect what will happen is while it won't be footage that we see released, it'll be the same thing that happened with It Chapter 2 in Halloween 2018. You'll get some descriptions that start appearing online for those who are in attendance at CinemaCon, and then weeks later presumably during halloween kills that's when we will see the teaser or whatever it is trailer for uh screen five because honestly what they could also do because it hasn't been officially announced to be one of the things that they show at the fathom event after CinemaCon this thursday and as the release for the 25th anniversary of scream is nearing they could officially confirm that hey if you know if you go out to this fathom event that we're having in the month of october this upcoming um sunday and monday october 10th and 11th you'll be one of the first first few individuals who will be getting their first look at scream 5 because we already have expectations that scream a bloody a bloody legacy 25 years later the feature it with all the new cast a mixture of the old cast and the directors will be shown during that we know other vintage interviews will be shown during that i'm not sure how early you'll have to arrive there to start seeing that stuff but i'm, I'm positive you'll probably have to get there by at least uh six o'clock at best six o'clock at best if you want to see that stuff but the other thing just going back to the footage the footage itself whether that be released online or not i don't think it will be the thing we should expect is just something very descriptive what could that footage be this again could be maybe scenes that are just spread out across the film and like a compilation you know like they do with trailers a typical trailer and we just get people talking about how they saw sydney and what sydney looked like what did what did gail weathers look like what did dewey riley look like 
what did Ghostface look like? Because they could even start showing Ghostface in this footage, but of course it won't be released to us. And we get another description of what Ghostface was doing in the trailer. Maybe Ghostface kills someone, or maybe maybe we'll even get to see something in this trailer once it's actually released to everyone. Maybe there's something that gets shown at CinemaCon that shows Ghostface using something other than the traditional buck knife, and we'll get descriptions of that that start appearing online Thursday after the uh, Paramount panel at CinemaCon. There's a plethora of things that could be shown. I hope that it's at least a poster, an official synopsis, and then right along with that, some type of footage. The footage is, I think, a must. I think that's a must. They don't they don't have to, of course, do it. But I, I feel like when we're so, so close to the release, it might not feel close to a lot of you. It feels very close to me. We're not that far out from the release date at this point. It doesn't do you any harm to show the footage at CinemaCon, show something at CinemaCon, and then have the full-fledged teaser or trailer, whatever you want to do, released during the release of Halloween Kills. And then piggybacking off of the attention that Halloween Kills is already expected to get when it comes out on October 15th. And that would just be another cool type of nod to the times that Halloween and Scream have, have referenced each other. Scream 2 being shown on screen in Halloween H2O. Randy and his, and his friends and Stu watching the original Halloween in the original Scream and talking about that movie and talking about Jamie Lee Curtis and et cetera, et cetera. I just think that would be another cool thing as we think about the, the references that have happened between the two franchises to have the trailer come out during the release week of Halloween Kills. Uh, but I know a lot of you have already purchased your tickets for the Fathom event that's taking place in the month of October. So who knows what will happen on Thursday? I just wanted to say that I think what we should expect is that if footage is shown, expect descriptions of said footage to then be released online. Don't expect it to be shared with us. Hopefully this footage does, of course, have Sydney Prescott so we can get some descriptions about what Sydney Prescott is doing. Maybe we'll even see certain things. Maybe certain things are shown that indicate what her next career move has been since she wrote that book. Maybe they'll show certain things that indicate what Gail Weathers is up to and Dewey, of course. Uh, maybe we'll get confirmation about that divorce that we all are assuming to be true between the two. And we'll hopefully get to see things between the new cast members and learn more about Sam Carpenter, hopefully. From the descriptions that, again, I expect will start coming out on Thursday after the footage is shown at CinemaCon, if it happens. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications like you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.